Welcome to another episode of Are Your Designs Any Good? Introducing Are Your Designs Any Good with Shimmy Morris. Right, on this episode we have some cool designs and we have some pretty terrible ones as well. But I just want to quickly update you on how things are going to work moving forward. I have now done a bit more research into each design before I just start talking about it. So, firstly, one rule is any design that doesn't have, that isn't centered properly, I'm not even gonna bother putting on. So you're not gonna hear me say, move it up anymore. That is over. And you'll see the designs I've chosen, some are really bad, some are really good, but they've been picked. And um, they've been picked for specific reasons. So before we start, you know, talking about the designs, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you like these videos, they really, really help. They mean a lot to me and they do a lot for the YouTube algorithm. And as well as that, if you want to get involved, then please use the link in the description, submit some work to me, but bear in mind that work has got to be centered properly if you even want it to be featured on the show. So, without further ado, let's start this episode. With the first design, some snacks are worth waiting for. This looks like a good Christmas design. Now, this is, this could be copyright. Now, the reason I put this design in is because I wanted to differentiate between copyright and not copyright. And this could be copyright. This is based on Frozen, in case you didn't realize. That is the Frozen font. That could be Olaf. Um, it's hard to tell whether or not it would be considered copyright. It could be borderline. So what I would say is the actual design is amazing. Really, really like it. Honestly, very, very good design. However, I personally think it will get taken down or at least put your account at risk. So I'm going to move on to the next side, but I wanted to just, I wanted to put it in there so you could kind of see the difference between the two designs. Next. Stay calm like a hamster. That is one ugly hamster. Okay. As you know, I usually split this up into three areas. What I like, who you can target, and improvements. Sometimes I don't really have anything that I like, so I just go straight to who you can target, and sometimes there's no one to target, so I go straight to improvements. Um, what do I like about this design? Um, look, the phrase, stay calm like a hamster, is okay. I didn't know hamsters were calm. Are they calm creatures? And I, I don't know. I don't understand what is on the top of his head. It, it looks like a fire engine. Anyways, all right, who you can target. I guess you can target people who like hamsters. Um, I feel like this advice is terrible, but I genuinely do not know what to do with this design. It, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. What I will say is the font is, is, is awful. The stay calm is awful font. You've got to change that font. I don't know why like is in red. And then I don't know why hamster, you've pushed down the MST and it's in two colors, and there's like a weird smoky vibe going on behind it. And then I don't know what's up with this hamster. It doesn't really look like a hamster. It's got, it looks like it's, it's got contact lenses and eyelash and, 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 and makeup on. And then it's got like this huge red thing sticking out of its forehead. I don't know what, even what to say. I scream for ice cream. Okay. Now I would say move this up a tiny bit, have to be honest with you, but I really, really like this design. That is the reason I put it in. I would, I think it's a great design. The ice cream is good, the font is perfect, the colors are perfect. Who you would target, clearly anyone who likes ice cream, maybe even ice cream shops, ice cream brands, um, you know, anything like that. Um, in terms of improvements, I would actually change the design a bit. I would, I would move up ice cream to right underneath the ice cream four. So it says ice cream four and then ice cream just underneath. And then I would move the ice cream cone so that it's behind those words with the ice cream part of the cone just popping over the screen bit. So imagine you've got the, the background layer being the ice cream cone and then you've got writing over the cone and then the ice cream cone like just over the top words. I think that would be really, really cool. I really do like this design. I think it's brilliant. And I think it has a lot of potential. If you genuinely made this, well done. If you stole this, then shame on you. But I hope you genuinely made this. Okay, this is take a chill pill, dude. I mean, okay. Yep. I don't know what to say. 
Sometimes I'm just lost for words because I don't know what to say. Um, it's a good design. I mean, the font is really good. I like the yellow thing. I have no idea who you're targeting. Absolutely no idea. I have no idea who you're targeting. Absolutely no idea. Um, it, it's a very basic design. I would put the t A take A on the same line, even though I, I see we're doing one word per line. But I don't understand the point in that. It would be better if it said take A on one line, because the A is a very small wor word. Um, in terms of improvements, that's the only improvement I can think of. And in terms of targeting, no idea who you can target with this design. Avo self a merry little Christmas. <laughs> that's really good. This is a really, really good design. Okay. All right, fine. I like this design a lot. I really, really do. It's just a really, really good design. You don't really have anyone to target. Maybe you could target people who like music, karaoke, anything like that. But honestly, I think it's a really, really cool design. A few improvements. Um, yeah, you've got, I'm not a fan of the font. The font you can definitely make better. You can make the whole, the whole design better. The, the, the avocado is very cute, but I feel like you can make a better one. The few music notes, you could, you could do better. So look, if you feel like you can't make a better design, use this phrase, go over to Fiverr, pay someone what, five, 10, $15, turn it into a really, really good piece of graphical artwork because it has the potential. It really has the potential. A very helpful chart, untoasted, toasted, and burnt. <laughs> that is brilliant. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Oh, that's just so good. That is a really, really good design. Very creative. I really hope it is you know, original and it's your work and it's not taken from someone else because it's just brilliant. Who do you target? Well, firstly, you can target people who love toast. You can also target people who like cats. I assume that is a cat. It looks like a cat to me, but I could be wrong. But you could target cats, people who like toast, just, and it could just be a cutesy little shirt as well. Like, I can think of so many people that would wear this. It's just a really cool shirt. Um, in terms of improvements, I can't think of a single improvement. It's just spot on. Perfect. So whoever did this, well done. Really, really good. Right. Dream big, stay positive, work hard, enjoy the journey. Okay, I mean, it, it's motivational. So I, I reckon it's kind of a motivational t-shirt. It, it's pretty good. Um, one thing you've done right is you've kept the font the same. You've got the square um, the design the same. There's no like word sticking out in awkward places. It fits. The, the sizing of each line is close enough. Um, obviously some are bigger like Journey and Enjoy though, it's bigger than Stay Positive because there are less letters. But overall the design is very good. Who you can target, you could target entrepreneurs, you can target anyone self-employed, you can target specific job types of people who like work for themselves. Um, you can target different motivational magazines, motivational songs, quotes, anything like that, motivational speakers. Um, that's quite a lot to go on in terms of who you can target. In terms of improvements, I think it's pretty good. Look, would anyone wear a t-shirt that has an essay written on it? I don't know. But if they would, then yeah, it, it's a pretty good design. Code blooded. Ah, I remember the email this guy sent me. I think this one is from a coder about snakes or something, pythons, something like that. I don't remember which is why it's kind of like in coding form, like dots kind of thing. Look, honestly, I don't understand the code blooded bit, but the actual logo is really, really cool. In fact, I think it could actually look quite cool if it was small and in the corner of the chest, like a branded logo, because this looks like a brand logo. If you design this yourself, well done, because that does look really, really cool. And I do think it would look good on the corner. Um, in terms of who you can target, well, in the email you said who you were targeting, you just weren't getting sales. Well, that is who your target is. There's, there's no, there's no like other m magical, you know, mysterious audience you're not targeting. You've, you've pretty much hit the nail on the head there. The fact that it's not working could be a few reasons. It could be the shirt, could be the shipping cost, it could be the shipping price, it could be the platform, it could be the description, it could be a whole bunch of things. Um, so maybe try and launch this on other platforms like Amazon and other things. Amazon's always a good 
platform to test with because generally they're very good for the customer. They've got very cheap shipping, if not free. They've got like Prime. It's it, like if a shirt doesn't sell on Amazon, you're probably not going to get much luck anywhere else because Amazon is made for customers. Moving on. Hold me closer. Okay. It's cute. It's simple. There's not much else to say. It's really simple. It's very cute. It's a good design. Um, yeah, I don't know who you would target. And I don't think there's any improvements. It's just a, it's a cute little design. Very, very cheesy though. Very cheesy. I wouldn't wear it. But it's very, but, but it, like, it's not a bad design. It's just not a particularly desirable one either. A Leo. This is cool. Or oh, is this allowed though? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think this kind of t-shirt is allowed. I'm not sure if, if it would be allowed. I don't know, but I mean, if it is allowed, it's a very, very cool design. I would put it um, white on black instead of black on white, just because black is a much more popular t-shirt. Obviously, you know who you're targeting. That's a no-brainer. And as well as that, in terms of improvements, I don't think you need improvements. Maybe, maybe make the font Leo just a bit thicker. It's hard to see, but that's about it. Other than that, I think it's a really wicked design. So well done. It's a good idea. Gym and gaming 24-7. Okay. The phrase is good, gym and gaming 24-7. It's very descriptive. So people who like gym and who like to game, you would assume they'd wear this. However, I like, you know, photography, cycling, and making YouTube videos, but I'm not going to buy a t-shirt that says cycling, photography, YouTube. Like, just because you like something, it doesn't mean you need to have it descript. Like, if you would have made a cool gym t-shirt that, Incorporated in gaming, so imagine having like a computer screen of a pixelated guy working out with a mouse and a keyboard, like one of those old Apple style computers. That would have the gaming aspect and it would have the gym aspect with the guy working out. So that's a pretty solid design, literally. Like, I might actually do that. That is a good design. So the, the fact that you've done it so descriptive where you've done gym and gaming, and then you put a plus sign in the gaming, so it kind of looks like you're saying gym and and gaming and you've also done 24 7 down in the corner you don't need 24 7. what you could do going back on my idea with the computer you could have a clock in the top which says 24 7. you could then have the guy working out doing deadlifts or something you can have then the keyboard and the mouse and all that kind of stuff and then you've got everything in there i think that would work a lot more it's more subtle and it'd be more pleasing to look at whereas this is just bleh. in a world full of hate be a light This is one of those designs I don't know what to say. The reason I put some of this in there is just so that you can get an understanding of what I think is good and what I think is bad. This is one of the ones that I don't think is so good. Um, it's it's cute. I mean, yeah, in a world full of hate, be a light, so be the good guy, you know, be whatever. Like, I understand that, but I, I just don't see it. I don't see it, and, and I think the design is a bit... You could do a lot more with design. You've got three thicknesses of fonts and then you've got an entirely separate font that's like a grunge kind of font and this light coming down as if like it's like an alien landing. You could do better. You could do better. Save the bees. People love this save the bees stuff. Um, it's a simple design. You've got two bees and you've got the words save the Simple. If someone's really passionate about saving the bees, they would buy that. For the normal person who doesn't think twice about bees, they will not buy this. Um, but the design is very good. It's, it's very simple. Um, I would get rid of the um, the stroke and just have it white on black or black on white, not black stroke, as you can see, on black. It doesn't look good. Just have it on one, just have one color and get rid of the stroke. At the moment, it looks a bit like a sticker. And if it is a sticker, then so be it. That's very good. Leave it as a sticker. Stickers sell way better than t-shirts. But that's the basic design. I wouldn't say there's anything to improve. There's not much going for it in the first place. There's not much to, to it to improve. Um, it's very basic, very simple design. Okay. 
This looks a bit like Ed Hardy. Does anyone remember that brand? It kind of died many, many, many years ago. It was very popular in school. Um, this looks like one of their designs. Is it the company trying to, trying to uh, rekindle its spirit with Redbubble and Teespring? I don't think so. I do think this is a blatant ripoff though. So look, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna say you designed this yourself. So well done. It's a really cool piece of artwork. Will it work? I don't know. I guess you can target tigers and stuff and see if it would work. I don't think it would work. I think it's way too similar to Ed Hardy and everyone's gonna think that as well. And you could potentially get a trademark violation for that. But it's a cool design when you think about it. Just turned half a century old. Thankful and blessed. This is a solid design. This is really good. You could target, well, you know exactly who you can target here. I don't even mean to say it. Um, this is a solid design. I would change the color of just turned half a century old. It doesn't go with that red and black. I know orange and red do typically go very well together, but here it just doesn't work. Um, what I would do is I would put this on a black t-shirt, make the just turned half a century old in white, then I would get rid of the black stroke on thankful and blessed and maybe make it a white stroke. And then you don't need the hashtag 50th because it's everyone knows what turning half a century means. And also that 50 is a different color to the other red, which means you've now got three colors in here, which is just a bit too much on the eyes. But it's a good design. I mean, like I said, you know who you're targeting. Those are the improvements. Do those improvements, see what happens. Aesthetic collage. I think those are steps or maybe a keyboard. I don't know. I want to know what people are thinking when they come up with ideas, where they plonk something on a t-shirt and they just see what happens. Who are you targeting here? Who is this for? What even is this? Is it is it steps? I don't understand at all. If this is yours, let me know in the comments what it is. I would love to learn more about this design. I think it's very cool. I love the colors and I love, you know, the abstractness of the art. I just don't know what it is. And last design, Africa. Arise and sprout forth with a light bulb there. The font for Africa is like this old English newspaper font. So no, that just does not go. Arise and sprout forth. What the hell even is that? And then why is there just like a angled light bulb? The one thing you've done right here is you've placed it well on the shirt. So congrats for that. You've done that excellently. Everything else is awful. So um, I would completely scrap the design. I have no idea who you're targeting. I don't even want to begin saying improvements. Improvements would be scrapping it or changing all the fonts, changing the wording, getting rid of the light bulb, all of that kind of stuff, basically scrapping it and moving on. Anyways, that is it for this episode. That was an interesting episode. We had some good designs. We had a lot of bad ones. I apologize for that, but I really want you to be able to see the difference between a good design and a bad design and what makes it good, what makes it bad. So I hope you enjoy this episode. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully See you in the next one.